I know there's things you cannot tell me. But I also know there's a story here, and I think everybody will hear about it. Do you think your paper has the resources to take that on? I do. Do you? The Boston priest molested kids in six different parishes over the last 30 years. The church found out about it and did nothing. We haven't committed any long-term investigative resources to the case. No, we haven't. And that's the kind of thing your team would do. Spotlight. Guys, listen. Everybody's going to be interested in this. What made you feel like this had the elements of an important film? Um, I think that I think that the journalists were heroic, and what they did changed the world and changed this country. And there is no way we couldn't tell the story. It was it was an, a necessary film. When we committed to this project, and uh, I think for a, a host of reasons, I think for those of you who have seen the film, I understand that there's a lot of avenues by which to talk about and approach this film. But I think collectively, we just felt that the material at face value was incredibly compelling. Um, that the work that these uh, reporters and editors did at the Boston Globe um, was not only, uh, obviously the results, as Nicole uh, alluded to, were so impactful nationally, internationally, and continue to be today, but just the work they did, the actual minutia of the investigation and how they cracked this case was just so interesting that we really early on just committed to that, committed to the idea of authenticity. It was clear that authenticity was going to be Tom's watchword, uh, and he had me watch this movie Police, which is this great French film that came out probably around 2012. Uh, and it is a ensemble of like 12 different actors, and they're all French actors. I didn't know any of them. Uh, and I watched it, and then I went to him. I said, are we doing Altman? <laughs> and uh, I was I was a little nervous, and he said, no, we're not doing Altman. We're just trying to get across what this team is. And the wonderful thing about writing with Tom is, you know, you know when you do a little subtle moment, he's going to be able to cast and then get the performance out of that actor such that those actors are going to be individual and that ensemble is going to pop even though you're going to be spread out among six different protagonists as opposed to two. I mean, these are serious, no-nonsense uh, journalists. They were on set with us. Almost at every minute, we had a reporter from that team on set with us. Um, it was an incredible resource, and I don't think we could have gotten it quite the way we did without their complete commitment to the project. Um, we uncovered things because we went out beyond the reporters. We uncovered a couple things, details that maybe they would have rather we didn't know. And, um, and some of them we incorporated in the film, but to their great credit, I think, uh, in, and screening the film for them was very nerve-wracking, right? right? Because we love these guys, right? We want these guys to, you know, to feel like we've been respectful and responsible, not overly respectful, but, you know, certainly responsible to what they do. And, um, and given that we've got some things that maybe they don't want to have in there, I, I think it was really gratifying that they, you know, they, you know, appreciated the movie for what it was and for what it says about journalism. When you sold this, what was the biggest reservation that some, that's, that, that, that suitors had before Open Road said, yeah, we're in? The movie was a, a real challenge getting it set up because of the ensemble nature of it, that there is no one lead actor that you can hang your hat on. You know, Watergate was a local story at first, too. It was two Metro reporters who were investigating a break-in. Right, and then it had national ramifications, just like this was a local story, right, which had international ramifications. And that these stories, you know, done on the local level, local investigative journalism is so important. It's through not talking about it, but showing it, just showing great local reporting and hopefully creating awareness of, you know, what will happen if, if it goes away. And this is not a problem of the past. We made this movie because this is something that the church and society is still very much grappling with. And uh, I think that's important to remember uh, moving forward and having, look, we're not, we're storytellers. Our, our first job is to tell an entertaining story, and I think we did that. But speaking with a lot of the experts uh, who, who were uh, along the ride, on, on the ride with us on this one, they're just, their thing is like more transparency, more action, more change, go as far as we possibly can at a quicker clip. A lot of things that the Catholic Church happen at this glacial pace. It's a massive institution.